Hi, good morning, afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. My name is Ivan from Republic Polytechnic, and we're here to share uh, our exciting journey with Puppet. So just uh, before we start, some introduction about myself. Yep, that's me, and I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Infocom in Republic Poly. So what I've been doing is um, training and curriculum development uh, for full-time, full-time students and continue, continuing education learners. So which means uh, adults are coming back for retraining. Uh, yeah, that's what we do. So what I've been doing so far in my life here. So I've been doing actually uh, lots of uh, cloud DevOps in the DevOps space. And prior to that, uh, basically I'm actually an in infrastructure person. Um, so systems, networks, security. Yeah, that's, that's my strength. Um, for myself as well, I'm actually pretty much involved in the Cisco Academy and Red Hat Academy. And I love to impart my knowledge to the students so that they can use uh, technology to develop basically a better future for the for everybody. Yeah. So I introduce you to my colleague as well, uh, Nicholas. Hey, hi everyone. Um, I'm Nicholas here. <clears throat> um, I'm a lecturer in RP, and it's my ten years now. Uh, here. Um, before I joined RP, I was a system administrator, network engineer. So I do hold some of the technical so-called certification, for example, CCNA. Uh, AWS uh, related certification and also I have uh, relevant certification in, in Microsoft and Checkpoint as well. So maybe uh, first uh, let me introduce you guys uh, some background about our Polytechnic. So it's uh, established in year 2002. Um, it's the first poly, first poly in uh, uh, Singapore that we adopt uh, problem-based learning. So it's quite different compared to the rest of poly which we focus on um, how to train students to be a problem solver, um, how to be self-directed learners, et cetera. And also our poly, the goal is actually to support the nation, to train students um, with all the innovation, uh, entrepreneurial, um, so-called learning experience, et cetera, and become a lifelong learner. So yeah, the, this brings back some uh, backgrounds about our partnership with Puppets. So the picture actually shows the our RP data center, uh, I mean our SOI data center, uh, which we actually have um, servers or uh, new equipments installed here, and we also install Puppet Enterprise to actually help to manage um, our new equipments, also uh, our VMs and physical server, um, to uh, have a so quite efficient, uh, efficiency in terms of managing all these devices. So um, talking about our partnership uh, with Puppet so far, uh, we have actually um, prepared some training. We actually have some training calls uh, starting from beginner levels to intermediate levels to actually train uh, individuals or companies uh, who are interested in the DevOps space. And with um, all these courses that we offer for company um, who doesn't have the bandwidth probably to train their staff in the DevOps uh, area can actually engage us uh, with all these courses that we offer. And with, with the government funding uh, to support in this space, um, government, uh, the individual company actually will, can actually get up to 15,000 uh, 15, uh, to hire employees who are Singaporean or citizen. Um, to actually enroll in one of our courses, uh, such as uh, special diploma in cloud computing and arch cloud architecting and management, and also specialized a special diploma in DevOps. So the two uh, main courses that we offer, short courses that we offer in RP, which is related to DevOps, will be introduction to DevOps, which is a three-day course. So basically, this particular course, uh, we cover things including the DevOps methodology, uh, workflow. And also during this course, we will be using some of the tools like uh, Git and Dockers. And we actually will teach um, our participants on how to develop or deploy a simple application uh, using Resource Manager. And we also have our one of our so-called last-time student who is now working in Microsoft as one of the trainer 
to actually conduct part of this uh, course. Then the second course that we offer is called Infrastructure as Code. So it's a, it's a more advanced course um, compared to the introduction to DevOps, which we actually cover, uh, cover the design and develop codes using infrastructure automation. And the tools we use here is actually puppets. So, um, so uh, we actually started our started to sign the MOU with puppets um, in June twenty twenty one. So that start our journey, um, with puppets, and then, uh, moving forwards, we actually start um to in order to get our staff um so called, uh, the well versed in this um uh, NetOps related technology. So we um uh, we actually engage puppet to give us some training for our staff so that we get our hands dirty. And also after we attended the relevant course with puppets, we actually are making of making use of some use cases to actually apply puppets within our environment, which uh, Ivan later will actually demo some of the use cases that we <clears throat> that we use uh, in RP. Then um then subsequently we actually launched our first course related to DevOps started in um, year 2019 onwards. Um, then also, so we have run three runs of introduction to DevOps so far. And subsequently, um, um, close to the reason, uh, recently we actually launched uh, this specialized, especially diploma in DevOps, uh, which is in partnership with another poly, uh, Tomase Poly, to offer this uh, program to our, uh, our participant. Okay, so um, to summarize, um, for those uh, for individual company who are interested to actually partner with RP, these are some of the opportunity that we actually offer. So um, other than providing customized short courses to individual or company, or even to allow all the company to uh, employees to actually engage in this work study program, where they're being employed uh, at the company while doing the training at RP and again get funding from government. We also um, also are interested to place our student to individual company uh, as an internship um, to explore uh, different technology, etc. And also um, as a staff, we are interested to provide consultancy services to company who are interested in cloud or DevOps technology. Then of course, um, uh, moving forward, we'll continue to work with puppets to actually promote uh, the default practices. Okay, so um, this this uh, all this picture shows some of the some of the courses that we have run so far, and the participants who participate in this uh, these courses, and this all these photos are taken before COVID. Okay, uh, probably I want to introduce you to our problem so far in our labs. So I think. Nicholas has already shared with you about how the labs look like in the data in the mini data center for students training. So this is actually what we have inside one of the racks. Uh, basically, lots of lots of Palo Alto firewalls. Uh, this is actually one for one of the modules in which we share, which we teach our students, uh, our full-time students, how to configure a firewall and what does a firewall. It basically is a firewall module. Right. So what happens is that students have to learn how to do cabling, uh, because this is actually the first, one of the first few instances of uh, equipment that they have. So while everything is virtualized, but actually students probably they, they like to do the hands-on feeling. So they they need to have uh, some hands-on to do the actual physical cabling because they need to identify ports. So yeah, it's it's a mix of both worlds. So they have to actually physically cable up this firewall and uh, set, set this up. So what happens is that they work on the firewall in the next lab, which is actually the uh, SOC lab, which I'll share with you in a minute. Okay. They work on this and they, they have to use the firewall uh, to configure their rules. And depending on what is the content being taught every day, they have to uh, do mess up the firewall. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes, yeah. And classes run daily. So it's always like we have a challenge. We only have this amount of firewalls and every day is a new class. 
uh, every day could be a new lesson, for example, because as the curriculum progresses, they learn more stuff. For example, one day it might be just firewall rules. The next day it might be a uh, network address translation. Next day it might be some IDS uh, rules. So yeah, we have to have many different configuration uh, in the firewall. So which means that it has to be reset to a different base, base uh, config. So we really have this problem in managing the firewalls. So yeah, that's one of the problems that we had. And the next lesson, I mean, the next uh, problem that we also have is that they have a SOC lab, which is the uh, security lab. We have 25 desktops connected to the security information management uh, server. Uh, what we do is that we install each desktop with proper agent, VMware workstation, Wireshark, and some RSA software. Uh, we need to use, the students actually use the machines uh, and the virtual machines inside for their lab practices. And again, we have to ensure that a clean machine is set up every day because uh, yeah, that actually form, takes up a lot of our technicians work where they have to do manually do re reset uh, different, different versions of uh, images. And so they have local VM snapshots. Uh, so uh, they allow for actually the pre-set up images uh, for the specific lesson as curriculum progresses. So yeah, this is how the lab looks like. Uh, it's just actually next door to the data center lab. So actually students actually work down here. So they have, we have 25 machines and all these machines probably need a different specific configuration every day. Yeah, so that's one of the challenges that we face. So this is actually, our, this actually highlights our automation journey with Puppet. So before automation, Again, configuring manually the guest OS. So they have, uh, they're all Windows machines and with VMware installed. So we also have software packages that we need to um, deploy inside. And again, as well, we also have the physical firewalls. Remember the Palo Alto uh, physical firewalls that they do. So yes, those are actually two different classes. So. What we do is we use actually Puppet's uh, software to help us to save manpower in the configuration of the operating systems. And yeah, it actually makes it much easier for, for the technicians or my, or my help to the lab technicians actually basically to prepare, prepare the images for the lecturers every day. And again, the firewalls as well is just one step reconfiguration for academic lessons. and. It reduces the, you know, like we have problems like, for example, hey, this morning, the we the lab is not prepared, so the students come in and say, hey, this is yesterday's, the yesterday's class, they had the config down there, they messed it up, and then hey, what are we gonna do about it? So the lecturer basically wastes wastes a lot of time trying to get things fixed. Yeah, so what we did, this is our back end, the two two case uh, studies that we have. So we use Puppet Bolt actually to use the to re, to revert the fire the Palo Alto firewall configurations back, as well as for the desktops we actually use a Puppet sorry Puppet Enterprise, uh, Puppet Enterprise to deal with the twenty five desktops. Okay, so with Puppet Agent you can do um, reconfiguration. Okay, um, what I'm gonna share with you today is actually the demo for the, just the first part. Yeah, of course, we in interest of time, just do a quick demo on how we manage the firewalls first. Yeah, so what we need to do is actually to find the Puppet uh, module, Pen OS module. So Puppet Forge actually, let me just go here. Puppet Forge actually has a, a large, large uh, repository of actually modules. Uh. So Pen OS, it's actually Puppet, it's a Puppet Lab module, and it's actually compatible with uh, Palo Alto Firewall, Palo Alto Firewalls, and that's all the things that they have. So actually this suits us because especially we use this uh, set config and store config. That's actually quite, this is actually the configuration management that we really need in our labs. So how we do that is actually we just uh, set up both on a, sorry, this actually we set up both on one of the machines and 
this is actually I'm gonna actually demo this in a in, in a minute, but I'm gonna use the puppet uh puppet learning machine to do the demo. Okay. So like I said, we have to use the uh, find the Palo Alto module in Puppet Forge. Uh, install some of the modules locally into the into the machine that we are going to manage because like I say the firewall we cannot install an agent so it has to be managed from a from a separate machine so after that we ins we installed the puppet forge module just to make sure it's the latest version make sure the Palo Alto OS is a um, version that the pen OS mo module can support uh, what we're going to do is also to create the inventory file inside the Inven we create an inventory file inside the the management machine that runs uh, the both tasks. Okay, we put in all the credentials inside. Actually, security. Yeah, I know security is not really a concern here because actually we this is actually a, a isolated segment that we only use for for it's not really connect. It's it's connected to the internet, but it's physically separate from the rest of our corporate uh, machines. So this is actually for their students to, to mess around and set firewall rules. So like I said, this, all this configuration is, uh, we don't really care about security. So we just put this down here in down uh, here. If you are more concerned about security, actually what you can do is actually to obtain the API key from uh, using the PenOS module and use the API key to do secure communications with the firewall. And what we're gonna, what we'll do next is to retrieve the configuration that's running on the firewall and save it to the local file in the directory. Okay. Uh, we will upload and apply a configuration to the firewall. So this is actually when we will do this task. When we will do this task is actually when end of the day when after the students all have left. So we'll just revert the configuration back to what is needed for the next class and commit because that's what Palo Alto actually does. Okay. Um, okay, so before this, I'm going to go back to the demo. So let's see how we set this up. So right now I have a puppet actually learning machine here. This is actually my, my, the machine which actually will look at the firewalls. And I have actually a Palo Alto firewall down here. Okay, because I cannot replicate, I have to use a virtual firewall down here. Okay, so this is my console. Um, Okay. Okay. So, what's the first step that we do? Um, I have some of the commands saved. So, firstly, I just show you how do you get this. Uh, I'm just doing this is sci f config. Okay, it's. Okay, I'm just connecting as a local network to the other firewall, to the other firewall. So it's uh, 131, 133, I think it's the other firewall. So let's take a look at what we have down here. Inventory YAML, remember the inventory file, which actually specifies the all the firewalls that we want to do. Yeah, in the interest of, uh, in the interest of this, uh, my, my, local laptop resources. I only have one firewall set up. So that's what we have down here. Like I said, this is the admin password. This is where you put the stuff. So you, you probably need to protect this file. Okay. So what you're going to do is get a, let's see, how do we retrieve this? We can get the API key. So FW01, remember you can have a target, I can have a group as well. So we can actually run this script, this bolt task, and we can run on all the machines down here in the lab. So I've just replicated only one machine. Okay, yeah, um, we got the API key right from the firewall. So we actually can use this to manage the firewall uh, in Papa Enterprise if you really need to do this and replace the credentials. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is actually get the configuration file. 
uh, look at the pen OS module. So I'm just going to explain this, how this thing works. So this is actually the bolt task that we're going to run the pen OS module. And one of the, remember the methods that they have is actually to retrieve the configuration. So that's what we're going to do. Retrieve the configuration file to, um, yeah, that's, yeah, I know it's just a path name. So we have all these actually, um, we can run this down here and retrieve the configuration files. If we have a large number of firewalls that we want to manage, we actually can list down uh, in the inventory YAML file. We create a group and they can have a directory in which they store all their individual configuration files. So yes, as you can see, it's trying to retrieve the, uh, connect to the firewall and it's going to pull out the current configuration. So yeah, while it's doing that, uh, we just hang on for a minute and I'm going to make the change on a firewall, which actually will allow me to show you it, the, uh, how the, this, uh, puppet bolt actually reverts, uh, configuration. So let me go back to the lab firewall. Okay. I'm going to do something down here. Let's just do something simple. Let's create another dummy administrator. So I create uh, maybe fake admin, which I really don't want to have down here. Password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope it works. Exclamation mark P. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exclamation mark P. Uh, can we do that? No, I think my passwords don't match. Yep, now they match. Okay. One well, of the sanity checks that they have. Okay, as you can see, I created another super user. No, 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 no. Okay. Created another super user down here. And after that, we have to do a commit. Make sure the changes are being pushed to the firewall. So commit. And after that, I'll do a, a refresh and we see that the, the there's a new user added to the firewall. Okay. Okay, and looks like we're done. So we have another new, new, new user. Let me just click around just to make sure it's in. Yeah, there's a new user down here, fake admin. Yep. Okay. So supposedly this is what happens when the firewall is messed up for the end of the day. We need to change back. So what can you do is that, uh, where was my config? We have the set config. Yeah, this is the one that we want to look at. Remember we, we saved the config already. Uh, and what we're going to do is using powered bolt task to revert the configuration to what we have saved down here. So you can use this. I'm going to just only use this for one, one firewall. Okay, let it run. Okay, and I think it's working. So let's go back to the firewall and check what's, what, uh, if the configuration has been reverted. Let's go back to here. So remember the firewall is running all the time. Let's click here. Okay, click here. There we go. The admin user is gone. So this really shows the power of actually this bolt. Really, it's actually pretty something very simple, but it saves up and frees up a lot of time of our uh, of our our support staff, in which we have a whole rack of firewalls that we really need to do. Uh, configuration management on. So really bulk task is one of the, and using the pen OS module, it really helps to simplify uh, our administration. All right. Thank you. And actually that concludes the demo. So we've shown that the firewall actually uh, does the configuration. They revert the configuration. So this is actually time for some question and answers. So if anybody has any questions and answers, you can uh, just uh, post them in the in the chat or as well as you can contact us. Uh, this is my email address as well as uh, my 
colleague's email address, uh, Ivan Wee at rp.edu.sg, Nicholas underscore go at rp.edu.sg, as well as uh, we have some, if you really want to uh, have some general inquiries, inquiries with us, you can just uh, click on the link below and they have, uh, if you're interested in short courses, uh, partnerships or some training that we, that you would like to do for your company, you can just uh, go on there. And then that actually concludes our presentation. So thank you everybody for your time. I hope that was an informative sharing with everyone. And we'll see you again.